In today's video, I'm going to kind of go through my latest purchase. I just got myself an XH1 Go Fuji. What I want to do today is show off or compare my old XT2, which Christine is going to be taking over moving forward. I've moved to Fuji, yes. Yeah, so we're going to be selling her all her Canon gear and uh, then we can share our Fuji gear together. Yay, Yay. Fuji family! Yay! And uh, today I want to show you guys the difference between the two. The things I want to really want to cover is the optical, I'm sorry, the in-body image stabilization, the sound, and the other features that the camera really has, just to come back into XT2. So, let's start. you guys about the ergonomics of this camera and a bit of about other features so one of the things I really like is actually the grip now when you're taking a hand while it is considerably bigger I was just shooting back and forth between XT2 which Christine's shooting on now and XH1 um, I find this grip more natural um, I can hold it with my thumb on this end and kind of my two fingers kind of hold it in and kind of just it feels good on xt2 i used to hold it a bit it was a bit awkward you'd have to have the grip with you to really hold it nicely the battery grip uh, another thing i want to talk to you guys about is the touch screen um let's see if christine can focus on it so what i like is you can review your pictures and videos quite quickly um, it's actually really responsive um, just see, let's go over to the pictures. Maybe it's still, it's still a lot quicker to use your hand, uh, your, you use the joystick, but then you can pitch in and see the focusing, see, kind of wander around the screen. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good. One of the things I did find is if you leave it on shooting, which is one of these modes, I'll just turn it around this way, you can click and they'll grab a picture or in this case it's actually videoing straight away so I just want to stop it and change it to pictures and let's say I want to take a picture of here it'll take a snap what I have found also is if you have a big nose like me you take a picture with your nose that's a bit weird so not necessarily the best feature I'm not sure 
how to deal with it just now. I'm sure there might be a way to set it up where it might turn off the touch screen when you're presenting your eye to your eye to the EVF. Um, but that's fine. You, you have to deal with it as you go. Uh, one of the things I do really like is uh, on recording, on video recording, you can set up the front light, which is a focusing light, I believe, is to shine. So you can tell when you're vlogging, for example, you don't need to double check if you're recording or not. You can tell it's recording, which is awesome. For me, another interesting, maybe not as useful feature just yet, but is quite useful at night, is the top screen, little screen that they've presented. I am not a pro photographer just yet who really uses the um, exposure compensation, that dial. It used to be here on XT2. I really didn't like it because I would put this in the bag and take it out of the bag and it's changed and I didn't look at it and it's, it's already messed up all my settings. I shoot for hours on end and then think, why is it underexposed or overexposed? Not a big fan of that. This on the other hand, we do a lot of uh, light painting. So we do long exposures at night. I can see my settings at night. I, like the, I love the dials, but seeing the settings at night without really turning on the back screen is really, really cool. And obviously when it's off, I can tell how much space I've got in my uh, card. I can tell that I haven't defaulted it yet. I need to review my pictures. It's really, really cool. I have a gripe with this camera already. Um, when recording video, the recording button and the recording light is just up here. I shoot video a lot from the hip, so I would normally tilt the screen up. And the issue is, because this EVF is from the GFX, it's much bigger and it's overlooking. So if you look down at this, you really struggle to see the light. You have to kind of pull out the screen and only then you can see the whole screen. So the EVF actually is covering up the, the important aspects of the screen. Thank you.